Hi, everyone. It's nice to see you all uh, there gathered. I see some of you are still getting ready. So come and join us. Come and get the supplies you need. And yeah, get settled down. Thank you so much for joining us today. So welcome to UBC Camps Play and Learn at Home. So this is a live stream right now. My name is Paloma. I'm with Sea Smart. We are a charity that teaches people about protecting our oceans. And that's what we're going to be learning about together today in our session. We're going to be learning about how does pollution from the land get into our oceans and our waterways. And all we need for today, very simply, is our sheet of paper here that I've got. I'm actually reusing a sheet of paper. Um, but before we fully get started, I'd just like to go through some housekeeping rules. Uh, please keep your audio and your video turned off. So if you see the little video symbol and the audio symbol, make sure there's a red bar in front of them. And if you would like to ask any questions, if you're having any issues, if you'd like me to slow down, speed up, type that in the chat. A moderator will get back to you about it and they'll let me know. And make sure that in the chat we are using respectful language. So it needs to be camp appropriate language. Let's all be kind to each other today and um, use appropriate language. Okay. So yes, as I was saying, I'm using a reusable sheet of paper. So um, I've, I've used it once before as a coloring sheet, not personally, uh, but and on the other side, it's blank. So I can, I can use this again today. So I've got my sheet of paper, got some nice coloring markers here today. What colors do you have? Can you show me? Nice, all right. Okay, I see some of you only have a couple colors. That's completely fine. If you have many colors, just one or two, you're gonna be fine today, all good. And I also have these smelly markers. So go. Yeah, three. <laughs> All right, make sure you're on meeting, uh, you're meeting yourself. And ooh, this one smells like blueberry, which is really nice. Do any of you have a smelly marker? Ooh, and this is green apple. Can I smell? Ooh, that smells nice. Is that strawberry? Oh, love it. Blueberry is my favorite. So uh, we are first gonna start with our drawing. I'm gonna, every time I'm gonna show you what I'm drawing. So don't worry if you can't see it on the sheet of paper. And we're gonna start with drawing um, a city. And in the top right, on the top corner here, we're gonna start with drawing a town. And this is gonna be where you live. Oh yes, um, and if, I'll go through all the materials first then. Do we need water and food coloring uh, is asked. Yes, so I've got a bowl of water here. Make sure that you're keeping your bowl of water maybe somewhere on the side right now because we're not gonna use it until the end and we don't want it to tip over and get messy. And I also have a baking tray. Oops, this is hard to take out. <laughs> uh, so I've got a baking tray here and this is where I'm gonna put my paper on afterwards to make sure that as I'm spraying water on it, I'm not making a mess on the table. So I'm gonna put both of these to the side for right now. And for those of you that have it, there's also these little food coloring or water-based paints that you might have. I don't have any of that, but you can use that instead. And I've also got a spray bottle of water inside, but all we need is that first bottle of water. This just makes it a little bit easier to spray. Great, okay. So let's get started. Um, pick a color of your choice. I'm gonna pick purple to start drawing your town on the side. So let's draw, you can, let's start with drawing where we live. So you can draw a little house here, or for me, I live in an apartment. So I'm gonna draw an apartment building with some windows. And I live on the second floor. So that's me. You can continue drawing your little town. See, that's me on the second floor of my apartment building. I live on the quite a short apartment building. So there's only four floors, actually there's only three floors here. So I'm gonna draw my neighbor's cat is also in the window. There. And we can draw a few other houses. What else is in your town? What's, what's around where you live? I guess there's like a few trees. Nice. Okay. 
Now I want us to think, now that we have our town, a small little town just on the corner of our paper drawn, I want us to think about what type of pollution, pollutants, might we find in, our, in where we live. So have you ever gone walking down along the street and you look on the side of the road and there's litter on the ground? What kind of litter have you seen on the ground before? Yeah, yeah, tell me. Yeah, so you've seen candy wrappers before? Okay, let's draw some candy wrappers. Okay, I'm gonna take a different color for a candy wrapper. I guess it's like a Snickers bar is usually black. Okay, I'm gonna draw a candy wrapper, let's all. But you can draw the litter that you've seen when you've been on your walks. What kind of litter have you seen on the ground? So, Snickers. Someone just accidentally dropped it or didn't bother putting it into the trash. So what else have you seen? Oh yeah, I heard doggy bag earlier. Let's, let's draw a little doggy bag. So someone picked up the poop with a little green doggy bag, but then they left it on the ground for some reason. Maybe they thought they were gonna come back for it and forgot, but it's still there and it's on the ground and it is a pollutant now because it's litter. Unless someone goes and puts it in the trash, it's litter on the ground. Okay, so I've drawn a green little doggy bag there. What other types of litter have you drawn so far? Okay, oh yeah, a plastic bag. That's a good one. So a little plastic bag in blue that I've drawn. Okay. I'm not really an expert drawer, so my plastic bag kind of looks like the face of an animal, but you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. We're just we're just kind of mocking up what, uh, what a town could look like and what type of litter could be there. Okay. So now I'm gonna draw another town on the other corner. So again, you can draw an apartment, you can draw some houses, you can draw a school. But one thing that this town has that our other town didn't is a gas station. So what does a gas station look like? What color are you gonna use for that? Okay, I'll use brown. And I'm actually gonna write gas station on the top of it. Gas station. Do you know how to write gas station? Okay, yeah, some of you do. For those of you that don't, it's G-A-S and then space S-T-A-T-I-O-N, gas station. And then the gas station, they have a roof, they have little sides. And what do you go to do, what do you do when you go to a gas station? Yeah, you go fill up your tank from your car with the hose at the gas station. There's little pumps there. So I've drawn that at the bottom here, these little pumps. Some of them sometimes might leak a little bit, and that's a pollutant that we can get. So what does that leakage look like? What color are you gonna pick? I'm, I'm gonna pick some sort of orangey color to kind of show like it's a bit of an oily color. And maybe it's not a lot of leakage. They're pretty good about that there, but there's, you know, some tiny little puddles. So under the gas station, I drew a little but you know, sometimes people just at the end when the nozzle's dripping a little bit, a little bit falls off. And it's just a couple drops each time, but then those couple drops might make a little bit of puddle over time. Okay, so that's a type of pollutant that you can get in this town. And something else that's in this town is an overflowing garbage. Have you ever seen that? Let's take a look. I have here, so this is CSMART. You can see the logo here. That's our website. This is an email you can reach at, us at. And then this next image, you should see an overflowing uh, garbage bin. So let's draw that in our town. So I'm drawing a black garbage bin. And what kind of things are in the garbage right now? What do you see? Yeah, there's some bottles, lots of lots of plastic bottles. What else? Yeah, there's that styrofoam cup in the front. Nice. You see some plastic bags, 
There's randomly a flag on the ground too. I guess this was a parade. And lots of paper, lots of containers. Okay, so draw some of those things on the top. A little plastic bottle. Little plastic bags. And a cup. Okay, I've drawn those things. Oh, I'm gonna add a straw to my cup. Okay. So this is what I've drawn for the garbage can. You can see the garbage can there. You can see it's overflowing in bottles. And even on the side, because it was overflowing, some of it fell down and you can see my little drink with a straw and my little, can I see your drawings? What have you put next to the garbage? Yeah, lots of plastic bottles in that one. Nice. Those look very cute. No, I like it. Okay, so let's move on from our second town. And an area when the, there's lots of people in the town, they're going to need to, um, to get food, right? So there's little farm areas. So let's draw a farm on our bottom over here. And for the farm, I'm gonna start with uh, soil. So I'm gonna get my brown, but you can choose what color you want your soil to be. And I'm gonna make little squiggly lines to show that there's a farm. So that's the start of my farm. Just showing that there's soil here. Okay. And farms are great because they're supplying us with all the food that we need, all of the fresh fruit and vegetables that we need to eat for our nutrition. But there are also pollutants that come from farms. So one of the things that uh, we use in farms to help our plants grow is we give them fertilizers. So fertilizers are great because they help give all the nutrients to the plants that they need. But the problem is that sometimes too much fertilizer gets used. And so there's a lot and a lot of fertilizer. So I'm gonna take a black pen, a black marker, and then really hone down that there's, you know, a little bit of fertilizer used, fantastic. Too much fertilizer used, and that leaches in the environment. That means that it goes down, it can soak into our waterways, it's not getting a fully absorbed by the plants because there's too much of it. Okay, so I've drawn some black fertilizer here. Okay. So, uh, just to show you what that looks like. Oops. Yeah, so this is what fertilizer looks like. Um, this little, it's, it's like soil that's very rich. So you're adding these solid components to the soil to give it uh, extra nutrients. But when you add too much, as I was saying, then all of those extra nutrients can seep down the ground into the water or when it rains, they can go into our waterways. So there, so good in moderation. And in this farm next door, they have these beautiful plants. So I'm gonna get some green plants here. Show that they have some beautiful plants in this farm where they're growing some crops for us. You can see these plants. And one of the issues that they're finding is that they have some pests. There are maybe some weevils, some beetles, some caterpillars that are eating their plants. And so they've sprayed it, and I'm gonna use red for this, they've sprayed it with fertilizer, oh, sorry, with pesticides. So pesticides kill uh, pests, so they kill little insects, and they've sprayed all of these plants with pesticides so that they don't get eaten by pests. The pests won't be eating the food that we want to eat. But the problem is that these are chemicals that they don't only just kill the bad pests, is that sometimes these pesticides can kill other insects too. Insects that are important for our environment, for our ecosystem. And so when these pesticides are somewhere else in our farmlands, then they can also be killing insects that we need, you know, for our pollination and for the food for other animals too. All right, the last thing we're gonna draw now that we have our towns and our farms, we are gonna draw a road to connect them all. 
So I'm going to draw my road in light blue. And can you tell me what goes on the road? So what's driving on the road? Have you driven? Do, does you, do you and your family drive on the road sometimes? Yeah, or have you been on a bus? Yeah, so vehicles, cars, trucks, buses, all of those use our roads. They're really important for us for transportation. We also receive from the trucks, all of the food from the farms get transported to our cities. And so they're important for us to have. But one of the issues, and I'm gonna share my screen again for you to see. One of the issues is that um, our cars that are in on the roads, that that is also a source of pollution. So take a look at the car right now. What's the source of pollution that you can see in this image here? Yeah, you see that cloud in the, in the back? Those, that's called the exhaust fumes. Yeah, you're right, that is a pollutant. So that is, um, there's heavy metals in there and um, there's fine particulates, so like little matter that, um, that can be toxic. And that, even though it looks like the gas is going up, it, a lot of it can also go down onto the road. And so let's draw little dots on our road to show that there's some pollutants from the exhaust fumes there. Okay. I just did a few little dots on my roads to show some of the um, exhaust fuel, uh, exhaust um, pollutants. And the other thing that might pollute is, you see, do you see these tires at the bottom of the car? Yeah, what do you think those tires are made of? Yeah, they could be made of a little bit of rubber. What else? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, so those of you who have said plastic, yeah, there is plastic in the tires of cars. And when you're driving, the, the tires on the ground, they, especially when you break, then have you ever seen skid marks on the ground, like the black skid marks? Well, those are pieces of the tire that are on the ground. And even when you can't see skid marks, there's tiny little pieces um, of microplastics that get shed from these tires. That get shed when we drive. And um, other things that could go on the road um, are anything, any of the chemicals that we put in our cars, like the de-icing and the oil, that can all go on here too. And sometimes in the winter, depending on where you live, like I live in Vancouver, I think a lot of you live around here too. Um, and when the winter, when it's cold, we also add things to our roads to de-ice them. So things like salt, and that uh, when it rains again, that, that all ends up in our waterways. Okay. All right. So now we have our town. We can see different types of pollution that we have around. And what we're going to do, and I want you to do this a little bit carefully, but you're going to take it and... Oh, is this, does this feel good or is it painful? Scrunch it up into a little ball. Is that hard to do after you've spent time working on it? Or is it fairly satisfying? Okay. Make sure this is an important step. Don't scrunch it too hard, but also when you open it again, try not to rip it as you reopen it. Okay. And now we should have a town. And then let's put our fist in there and let's get the sides to come up a little bit. And what we're gonna do is we're creating a bit of a bowl. Can you see there on the side view here? There's a little bit of a bowl so that all these sides are up and the, the part that we didn't draw in the middle that's in the bottom it's a little bowl over here okay shape it shape it as you need might be harder if you have smaller hands you can also just try to lift it up this way okay all right so now i have a little bowl if it didn't quite work out you can try again uh, or ask some questions in the chat if you need help. 
But if it relatively looks like this, it doesn't have to be perfect. Let's just take it to the next step now. Let's get our tray that we had from earlier. Carefully put our bowls to the side. I'm gonna put my pens away now. Okay. And, oh great. Oh, sorry, I was still sharing my screen. I am sorry about that. All right, so if you couldn't see very well, then this is what the bowl looks like. So we've got the little side view and we have a little hole in the bottom. I'm gonna put that on my tray and now I'm gonna take my water, put it next to me because I'm gonna use it. But for those of you who have paint or coloring, you can put a few drops of that now. So I'm gonna take my red coloring and I'm gonna do, put that where I had my pesticides. So red pesticides here. I'm gonna take my green food coloring. Let's be very careful with this, okay? Let's only drop one drop at a time. And you don't squeeze really hard, just squeeze a little bit. So where I had my fertilizer, I'm gonna take my green and I'm gonna put that in the farm with my fertilizer. Okay, I put two drops there. I'm gonna take my red and that's where all the litter is gonna go. So in my first, I had some snicker bar that was litter and I had the litter from the trash can. And you can do this with the paint that you have. So put just little dots, one little dot here, one little dot there of where the paint is. And I think two colors is enough. There was all of the colors from the roads, but I think that the, the pens are good enough for that. But if you want, you can also draw, put a little bit of paint there. Okay, so I'm gonna put these to the side now. So you can see I've got a little bit of food coloring where my different pollutants were. And now, in our town, it's been sunny for weeks, but just like in Vancouver that we had recently, we're gonna get some rain. And rain is great because it feeds, it gives all the water that our plants need. So I'll move this to the side. I'm gonna take this bowl, maybe I'm gonna put my bowl in my tray too so it's safe. I'm gonna take my two hands in here and spray, 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 spray. We've got some rain coming down our town. So you can take your, put your fingers in and then chuk, chuk, chuk. Okay, do, try to do that without splashing me though, okay? Don't splash the computer. <laughs> Don't splash your, your device because if you get water on electronics, that's no good. Okay, so as you see, as I'm getting a little bit, I'm, it's starting to ooze down. So you should be getting some water right in the middle. So do this until you have a little well of water in the middle. So you're gonna have to do a little bit more. Splash, 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 splash. So you can do, yeah. So take, take a lot and then bam. Ooh, I'm getting some nice colors now. Look at this. Okay. So how, oh, you see? So you can see now coming down got some red over here, we've got some red in the bottom, and this is starting to look like river systems. So from our towns, there's little creeks that bring all of the water into a central area here, which is either like a lake or an ocean. Okay, so let's continue putting some more water. I'm gonna get my spray bottle, but you can do it with your, and then you can spray with your spray bottle. You can see, you can start seeing all the fertilizers that I put inside, um, inside my farm. You can see those, that green is starting to leach down, the red litter starting to leach down. All of these pesticides is going into the creeks. And now at the bottom, what do I have? So it's not just one color, but it's a whole sludge of all the different pollutants that we had in our system are now in the middle. So usually this would stay up and you can see at the bottom, after all the creeks have drained, they all drain into this lake here. This, and then that lake is gonna drain down and eventually end up into the ocean. So all the pollutants that we had in our land, they were fine, they were staying there. But once we had rain or even a strong wind, that's going to take all of those pollutants from our land, into our creeks, into our lake, 
and then down the waterway eventually into our ocean. And that's where it all ended up. So how did yours turn out? Did you manage to make that work? Okay. I see some of you had a little bit of trouble. I hope that maybe seeing this made it a little bit easier. I know it can, it can be hard, the paper flattens down. So no worries, at least we had fun uh, drawing our town. Yeah. All right, I realize it's just about 11.30 now. So I'm gonna share my screen once more, just to finish up, uh, to let you know that um, if you'd like to know more about uh, how plastic pollution are, affects our environment, how different types of pollutants. So you've learned about how it gets from the land into our oceans, but how is it actually affecting our oceans? You can learn more about this in CSMART's Ocean Defender course. So you can go to csmartschool.com to find out more. We're also um, doing getting people to trial out our lessons right now. And if you're interested in that, then please email us. And you'll be learning about sea turtles, sea stars, killer whales, octopuses, and many other awesome animals. We also have virtual sea school. Um, that is uh, where we connect with students and their teachers online. So we give video chat uh, conferences, like these types of workshops, and the one that we're having tomorrow, but within a school setting, so with, um, with students connecting online. And if you're interested in finding out more, you can email us here, info at csmartschool.com. Okay, I hope you enjoyed today's session. Tomorrow's session, we are going to have, uh, I'm going to be presenting again tomorrow. Uh, it's gonna be for uh, students that are age nine to 12 plus, And it's going to be a Kahoot session on plastic pollution. So you'll be learning a lot more in-depth information about how plastic pollution affects our marine life and testing yourself in this fun challenge. So what you'll need is you'll need a second device and uh, connect tomorrow. It's at 3 p.m. I believe, sorry, I don't have that up right now. Um, so if anybody has any questions, please put them up in the chat. I'd like to thank you all for joining us today. Um, and please engage with us online. So tag you at UBC Camps on Instagram, go to Facebook and go to UBC Camps on Facebook. Use the hashtag UBC Play Learn. And that way we can all interact. We can uh, share what we've been learning and share what we've been doing at home. Okay. All right. Thank you, everyone. It was uh, great being part of this with you. And I hope to see you again tomorrow if you'd like to join us for the Kahoot session. Have a great rest of your day. Yeah, thanks. Nice to see you. Bye everyone. Yeah, thank you too.